Hey YouTube, uh, welcome back to the fourth installation of um, how to create a uh, virtual hack box uh, or virtual uh, pen penetration box to uh, help you guys uh, practice in a safe environment. So uh, let's get started. I uh, believe in the first install we did a Kali attacker box and the second one we did Windows Server 2012. Uh, in today's installation we're going to install Ubuntu 16.04 onto VirtualBox so here we go um, and if, if you haven't already uh, refer back to the first video uh, on where to install uh, Ubuntu uh, the ISO file so um, but if you have it already let's get started um, first thing we want to do is create the instance itself so just go ahead and go to new and click on new and name it whatever you want for this particular exercise we're going to just call it Ubuntu uh, target machine so this will be a target machine um, and it's Linux distro and it's already populated down here 64-bit uh, the version that I installed if you install 32-bit go ahead and choose 32-bit right here but um, but the version I have is 64, so I'm going to choose 64. Go ahead and click Next. Um, this is the memory, so we're going to want about 2 gigs. You can dedicate more if you want, but we're going to dedicate 2 gig. That comes out to about uh, 2,048 megabytes. Go ahead and click Next. Um, keep the default here. We want to uh, create a virtual disk. And uh, we want to um, create the virtual disk image. So let's go ahead and click Next on here. And we want to keep it dynamically allocated. So keep the default and click next. And uh, here, um, it says eight gigs. Um, the requirement for Ubuntu is 25 gig, but I'm gonna make it about 30, 31 gig, 30 gig, somewhere around there, just to play it safe. Go ahead and press create. And uh, there you go, there's your instance uh, that was created on the virtual manager, virtual box manager. Now just go ahead and keep this highlighted and go to settings. We're gonna change uh, some of the configurations and um, mount our ISO file. So uh, in our general, we're gonna keep everything default. Sorry guys, my mouse is sticking today. In the system file, we want to keep everything defaulted. Uh, processor if you're running more than one CPU uh, you can dedicate more if you like depending on uh, your host machine I'm just gonna dedicate one even though I have four uh, so I'm just gonna dedicate one here that's plenty enough for um, a virtual penetration box so um, display we want to keep it uh, default uh, whatever the 12 megabytes and keep it the same um, storage um, we want to go down here to empty into our secondary master and we want to click the icon to mount our ISO file um, so remember where you uh, install from the first video just go ahead and click um, choose um, virtual optical drive um, and navigate to where uh, your ISO file is um, so I kept mine in my bat cave so here it is Ubuntu and uh, audio we're going to keep default network we're going to change to bridge adapter because after we install it we're going to want to do some uh, upgrades and updating to our uh, operating system our Ubuntu operating system so for right now we want to change the bridge adapter later on in the next video I'm going to show you guys how to tie it all together and make it a um, internal uh, box where you all the instance can communicate with each other but won't be able to communicate with outside worlds that way you have a safe environment um, or safer environment let's just say that um, so for right now just choose a bridge adapter and we're gonna keep everything else default alright so that's good so let's go ahead and press OK and uh, next thing you want to do is press start just to start the installation so some parts of this is going to be long so I'm just going to for those parts I'm just going to pause it and move ahead so let's go ahead and press start
All right, guys, I'm back. So uh, we're at the welcome screen. Um, you, here you get to choose your language of choice. Uh, we're gonna, for me, we're gonna keep English, and you can either try Ubuntu or install it. I'm just gonna go ahead and install it onto VirtualBox. Click on that, and um, it's gonna ask you if you want to download updates while you're installing. Uh, for this particular exercise I'm not going to do it I'm going to show you guys how to do it afterward so I'm going to keep it unchecked that way it goes pretty goes by pretty quick uh, but feel free to check these two and install while you're updating or I'm sorry uh, update while you install all right uh, here it's just saying that it's going to erase this and install Bantu it's a virtual um, uh, drive so just go ahead and press uh, install now oh uh, and also you can uh, choose some of these option to encrypt the new Ubuntu installation for security uh, if you were downloading this for um, your personal use I would suggest uh, checking uh, uh, encrypting your Ubuntu installation and uh, um, use a LVM uh, also but for uh, using it as a target machine, we're going to keep these unchecked. So just go ahead and click install now. Um, yeah, it's just this is a secondary warning. It's telling you that it's going to write change to this. If you continue, um, the change list below will be written to the disk. Just go ahead and press continue. And uh, it's going to take a little bit to uh, install. Oh, here we go. Uh, so right here, just choose your time zone. It's going to keep it at default Chicago. Continue. All right, this might take a while, so I'll be right back. All right, here we go. Uh, so I'm going to keep here the keyboard layout the same in English. I'm going to blow this up a little bit so I can see everything. Let's go ahead and press continue. And uh, here it's basically going to ask you what name you want to use. Uh, remember, this is going to be your uh, root user name so um, just remember what you call it here I'm just going to call mine um, test one and uh, remember your password um, let's see here All right. Um, I would click uh, require my password to log in, but it's it's really up to you. And just go ahead and press continue. All right, so uh, this might take a while, so I'm going to fast forward through this. All right, folks, uh, we're back. That took a while. It took me about uh, 10 minutes, so uh, looks like uh, we need to restart. All right, uh, we're back. Um, I had to physically restart the machine. Uh, for some reason, uh, the instance uh, stalled on me, so I had to um, physically um, restart the machine. Um, so if, if it takes a while for you to restart, just go ahead and uh, exit out of the, uh, your instance without saving anything and then um, you know go back into it the old-fashioned way by clicking by starting um, so um, once you're uh, booted up this is where you should end up 
and uh, your username that you created before, uh, my case was test1, just go ahead and enter your password here to um, um, to enter the, your 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 um, domain. So um, hmm. there we go. So uh, what we're gonna do first is uh, do some updates um, to the operating system and uh, upgrade our current uh, system and then do a distro upgrade to see if there's any new uh, <coughs> packages that needs to be uh, installed so uh, when you first start up this is <coughs> what you should have and uh, so uh, go ahead and navigate to your or if you're brand new to Ubuntu just go ahead and play around a little bit but uh, we're gonna need to uh, navigate to our terminal so let's go ahead and exit out of here hmm doesn't look like anything wants to oh this might be part of the, the wallpaper I'm not sure it's not letting me exit out of it there we go I had to click something else um, okay so just go ahead and press uh, control alt T to bring up your terminal well actually uh, this is a virtual instance so oh, I, oh it worked yeah so uh, control alt T will bring up that first uh, your your uh, instance so uh, your I'm not, sorry not your instance but your uh, terminal so first thing we want to do is just do an upgrade update to the current uh, file system so let's go ahead and do sudo app get update and press enter um, then you'll have to enter your password for your user press enter and it's gonna go through and update everything so that was pretty quick um, second thing we want to do is do an upgrade uh, to our current um, uh, operating system so um, let's go ahead and do sudo app get upgrade so this is what's on your system today uh, we'll do, if there's any upgrade we'll do an upgrade right now and Y for yes and this might take a while so I'm gonna fast forward through this part alright we're back folks um, the last thing we're going to do is do a uh, distro upgrade so it's going to basically install um, any new up updates to your distro so uh, the command for that is sudo app get this dist dash upgrade and uh, enter yes y for yes and uh, this will take a while but uh, basically that's it so uh, now you have a Ubuntu uh, instance on your virtual machine um, it is connected to the outside world so uh, in the next installation I'm going to show you guys how to install it uh, or, or configure it where it's an internal network and it t doesn't touch the outside world at all that way you can um, use it to uh, uh, practice some of your pen testing skills um, that I'll be showing you in later um, uh, video installation so uh, stay tuned uh, don't forget to subscribe and like the video um, and I'll see you in the next one where we tie it all together all right see you later bye